And now, TV 10 and 55 News at 11. On Long Island, a harrowing experience today for more than 130 people aboard a Southwest Airlines flight and safely. Good evening, I'm Michelle Imperato. And I'm Richard Gross. Passengers aboard flight 195 were headed for sunny Florida this morning when suddenly they heard loud noises and soon learned they'd be making an emergency landing. Our Christina Renault has this story. I thought I was going to die. Lori Coyle of Bayport says she spent a frightening 10 minutes in the air on a Southwest Airlines flight to Fort Myers this morning. The plane made an emergency landing at Long Island MacArthur Airport around 10.15. She says they heard several loud noises, and then the passenger next to her said she saw flames coming out of one of the engines. The flight attendant was walking past, and she goes, there's flames in this engine. She ran to tell the pilot, and that's when the pilot came on and said, listen, we blew an engine. We have to go back to the airport. Pam Collins was in her Holbrook backyard, which is only a mile from the airport, when she heard popping noises and looked up to see the flames coming out of the Boeing 737. Just this big flash of orange coming out of it, and I said, something's wrong. It needs to turn around and go back. While airport officials would not confirm that flames were shooting out one of the engines, they say there were some compression problems, and the engine stalled three times while they were still in the air. He landed without incident back at Long Island MacArthur. The tires were smoking a bit because, again, he had a lot of fuel on board, and when you're braking action like that, you will, the tires will smoke. All 132 on board were not injured. The flight was rescheduled for later on in the day. 12-year-old David Love of Oakdale and his family were headed down to Florida to visit his grandparents, but now they're not going anywhere today. We're going to go tomorrow. Today we're going home. We're going to take a nap. In Islip, Christina Renault, TV10 and 55 News. Now, officials at the airport tell us the incident remains under investigation. Calls to Southwest Airlines were not returned. You're watching the award-winning TV 10 and 55 News at 11 with Richard Rose and Michelle Imperato. Weather with David Weiss and sports with Kurt Semter. Now, the News at 11 continues. Well, get ready for your close-up. Red light cameras are expected to be added soon to traffic lights on long Conscious and, and, quite frankly, in... in perhaps could have expired as a result of the amount of drinking all right, that took place. So yes, this was a dangerous situation with out-of-control drinking. Police say prosecutors will now decide if any further charges should be brought against the nanny, 30-year-old Adrian Newland. Eleven people were sent to the hospital with dizziness and sore throats after a freon gas leak at a Nassau supermarket today. That's according to Nassau police. Authorities say the wall bounds on Jericho Turnpike in Garden City Park was evacuated and closed at 2 o'clock. Two of the people taken to the hospital were reportedly working on a refrigeration system. Freon is used as a coolant and evaporates when exposed to air. Breathing large amounts of it can cause a regular heartbeat, loss of coordination, and dizziness. All right, let's take a break now and get our first check on the weather and what a washout we <laughs> had today. So we're all drenched. Yes. David Weiss here to let us know if it gets any better from here, David. Well, it can't get much worse. We had this all day long. And now, as Exhibit A, we present this slideshow. Raindrops falling on your head and your windshield all day long. Really came down hard at times. Even had some thunderstorms roll through earlier. Fun day on the roads. At least we got to see what the fastest setting on your wipers looks like. There was really no let up until nightfall. And even now, we are getting some rain. So nasty today. In fact, my kids had a two-hour delay, and they're off from school. Rainfall totals. Let's check those out right now. Nearly a half inch for Bridgeport and for Islip Central Park in Newark. More than a half inch of rain, although it seemed like more, didn't it? Current radar, take a look at all the moisture we had. All the thunderstorms that rolled on through. And take a look at this. Look at this. We have some leftovers, including some thunderstorms. A little cluster of showers now affecting northern New Jersey, Brooklyn, Queens, and parts of Long Island could get this over the next several hours. Temperatures, we were in the 50s today, but it felt colder and more raw than that. Right now, 50 in Newark, 49 Central Park, around the same east end, 48, 48 Islip, and 47 in Bridgeport. Overnight, we drop down to around 40. And then tomorrow at 7, as you get going, low 40s or so across the board. So your quick look for the morning commute. Mostly cloudy start. Very chilly, too. Layer the clothing, 38 to 40. The temperature range, take the umbrella just in case, and with the wind, and there'll be plenty of it, max hold on the hairspray. Does it get any better later tomorrow? What about the rest of the week? Answers galore. Our extended forecast just a few minutes away. Richard, Michelle. Thanks so much, David. And still ahead on the news at 11, a bill that would allow red light cameras at dangerous intersections clears a major roadblock. Plus, the good news Governor Patterson had for Long Island as he unveiled some big economic recovery projects. 55 News. Yeah, how cute. But it's important to know how to care Absolutely. for your animals, all animals, not just rabbits. Thing. Oh, And that's it for this edition of the News at 11. I'm Michelle Imperato. <laughs> and I'm Richard Rose. Thank you for being there. Inside Edition is next. Good night.